Assalamu alaikum kids and welcome to Arts Corner. I'm Sister Azra and I'm going to share with you some creative art pieces that you can make that will inshallah remind you of the lessons that we can learn from the tragedy of Karbala. Today we're going to be making a paper plate bird. And when we think about Karbala, we have to think about what happened after Karbala as well, because that was just as tragic. When the women and children were taken to the prisons of Sham, there was one little girl, Sakina, and her story really breaks our hearts. She was in the prisons of Sham, and she used to look out up at the sky and see the birds flying free. And she would ask, she would ask her Auntie Zainab, Auntie Zainab, when will I be able to go home like those birds can fly free? But sadly, tragically, it breaks our hearts to think that she never managed to go home because she died right there in the prisons of Sham. I'm going to read out a poem and we're going to use that later on in our craft activity today. Sweet little Sakina, daughter of Hussain, a child of only four, went through so much pain. Kind and caring, always sharing what she had. In Karbala she saw how Yazid was so bad. Noticing the birds over the prison sky, Auntie Zainab she asked, where do they fly? Home she never reached, in Sham she did die. Oh, sweet Sakina, today for you we cry. Now for this activity, you're going to need one paper plate, one piece of A4 paper, white is fine, some string, black and orange felt tip, scissors, and you can write or type out that poem that I recited as well. We're going to start by taking your paper plate and just folding it in half and then fold it along the top so that when you open it up slightly it should sit just like that. Now this bit is a bit tricky but you're going to take your scissors and you're going to try and cut a small horizontal line in just in there. So you need to fold the paper slightly, not too much and just cut into it about half an inch or so to make a slit. Now, you'll take your white piece of paper and you're going to fold it, just a small strip, about half an inch at the top and fold it down, making sure the edges are nicely in line. Then we'll turn the piece of paper over and fold it again the same length or the same width as you did before. And make sure you press it right down with your fingers. Then you're going to turn it over and repeat that again. And you're going to keep going so that you're making something that might look and feel a little bit like a fan. So keep folding. Don't worry too much if you don't get the size of each fold absolutely the same, it doesn't matter at all, as long as the slit in the paper plate is big enough for it to fit through, that will be fine. So keep turning it over and folding until you get right the way to the edge. So if you were to hold it in the middle and fan out the edges, and that is a little bit like what it should look like, but keep it flat for now, because what we're gonna do is take your paper plate again, use the finger of this hand to make sure that you've got your space there that you're going to push the paper through. So take your paper in this hand and just pass it through that slit. So I made sure that it was wide enough to pass through without too much trouble, and that's what you need to do as well. You're going to pass it through only until it's about halfway and then you want to stop right there. Fold both sides up and 
this is going to form the wings. So you want to spread out each side by holding the ends of the paper and pulling them outwards so you've got the wings of your bird. You might need to push the paper, out, the paper plate out a little bit to make sure that it sits nicely. Now taking your pens, you're going to decorate the bird. I'm going to draw an eye on this side. And an eye on that side as well. Then you want to take your scissors and cut again just a very small corner of the plate up there and round like that. Then you will take your orange pen and you're going to colour in a triangle for the beak. neat and then you can turn it over and do the exact same on the other side. Draw the outline, just a small triangle there in the corner and you can colour it in orange. So far, this is what it looks like. So you've got your bird all ready. Now we're going to stick down the poem. So, taking the poem that you've printed or written out, you want to cut it out into a square shape, making sure that it fits nicely onto your paper plate like that. So, using the glue, make sure you put plenty of glue on the back so it sticks down nice and firmly. And then you can press it down onto one side of your paper plate, like that. Now the thing that made Bibi Sakina so sad is that the birds could fly when she couldn't. So we're going to make our bird fly. Because we love Bibi Sakina. And we wish so much that she had that chance to fly home, to her family, to the place that made her most happy. So we're going to take some string. It doesn't matter what length it is. I'm going to use about that much. And I'm going to cut it right there. And I'm going to pass it through that same slit that I made before for the wings. This one's a little bit fiddly. So you might need some help. Or you might manage it just fine. Make sure you've got roughly equal lengths. Then you can hang it up somewhere. Wherever you want in your house. And you'll need to tie a knot in the end. Just like that so that it stays hanging nicely wherever you've chosen to put it. This is what the bird will look like in the end. Thank you for watching today. Do have a go at making this at home and you can tweet us your creations at Ahlul Bayt TV. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.